Okay, this is going to be a quick demonstration video of the Wii NDS Warm Sender homebrew program for the Nintendo Wii. What this program will allow you to do is that it will allow you to send NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and some Nintendo DS games, or mostly homebrew, to your DS console over download play from your Wii. You are obviously going to need a homebrewed Wii for this. I don't know if you need CIOS or not, but you will need homebrew on, on your Wii. And you will also need to prepare your SD card with the ROMs you want to use or something like that. Um, I have the GitHub for this program linked in the description of this video if you'd like to try this out yourself. Okay, let's try this. Also about the DS, you can use any DS, original DS, DS Lite, DSi, yep, everything. You can use every DS console. But if you're using a 3DS family system, you'll need to put it in the original DS download play mode. As you can see, the program is starting up, and I've got some pro I've got some things on the SD card I can demonstrate here. I've got Snake, like a homebrew version of Snake for the DS. I don't know if it works properly. I've got Contra for the NES. Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Color, which does not work because the file is too big. It I think your limit is 2 megabytes, but I'm not really sure. I think it is, though. And Super Mario Land 2, 6 golden coins. So I'm going to try Snake DS first. It'll compress it, and then it's waiting for a DS to connect. I've got my 3DS waiting to go here. And it'll pop up at the bottom as a download station thing. Like a download station playing thing, I don't know, I don't know the word for it. And if we look on the console here, it shows how much data is sent. And what, once it's downloaded the download station client, um, it'll then be able to use that to download the homebrew program itself. And now we just wait. I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump cut this since this program isn't that big. And it downloaded. Um, save feature, no, you can't use any. I don't know if this works or not. Yeah, okay, it does work. It's just a simple snake thing that I was able to get for demonstration purposes for this video. Okay, that's that, and I'm now going to show you Contra. Okay, we are downloading Contra. Um, it will be, it will come bundled with an emulator, like a lightweight one for the DS. Eventually, and yup, there's Contra. Contra. Hopefully it's I can play the game one-handed. Yeah, you pretty much get it at this point. If you play Contra, you kind of understand. But yeah, this is pretty much yeah you can play NES games on this thing. I can't really play one-handed, so about this. Okay, now I'm gonna show you Super Mario Land Two. Here we go. Super Mario Land 2. You kind of get it at this point. If you play this game, you know. In overall, games actually seem to run really well, even though it's emulated to some extent. I don't know if I can complete the level. Oh, never mind, I died. <laughs> and that's it. That's pretty much. Uh, yes. So, yeah, so this is pretty much um, Wii DS Warm Sender, the homebrew program for the Wii.
Again, I will have this linked in the GitHub if you guys would like to use it. In additional instructions and more information are in the GitHub, like um, just information, I guess. I don't know what to say. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you later.